Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Fiora Alone. This was my most popular YouTube video that we have had recently and I'm going to bring it back because, you know, that not only that, it's also fun to play and I think it's actually really well positioned. It's it's a kind of deck like where we have, so we have three Fioras, 37 spells, right? So like we're not, we're not playing anything else but Fiora and we're just designed to win with Fiora's alternate win condition, killing four enemies and surviving. That's our goal. That's what we're trying to do. I do think this deck is well positioned against the most popular deck. The most popular deck right now is Elise Callista um, deck with They Who Endure and Atrocity at the top end. And that kind of deck is playing a lot of little things that they don't mind dying. And this this kind of deck of have Fiora kill a bunch of stuff is really good against a lot of little things that you don't mind dying. <laughs> it's, um, so yes, yeah, so I like this this deck in that matchup. Um, <clears throat> and so, you know, hopefully we kind of run into that deck quite a bit. Um, we're playing one Purify. Last time we played two Purifies. Purify is amazing against They Who Endure, so maybe I should have a second one. But I wanted to replace one with a Concerted Strike, so I wanted another fast speed removal spell to use with Fiora to help with Fiora's... Um, alternate win condition and it does say two allies strike it but you don't need it to you can just you can play this with just one ally so you know we can just have it be it's like a one-way single combat you know single combat costs two mana better than costing five but it's just a one way it doesn't do like their thing doesn't do the damage back but anyway here we go fiora is all alone and we're going to take on the world that's our deck fiora alone no, the Gangplank's Plunder was with Sejuani. It was um, both champions having the same level up of uh, deal damage to the enemy Nexus in five different rounds and then level up. So that was that was the Gangplank Plunder that we just got done playing. <clears throat> oh, come on. We get a mirror match? <laughs> That's ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Really? So you have to find either Fiora or Entreat. If you, if you don't have Fiora or Entreat, you gotta mulligan all your stuff and look for Fiora or Entreat. This is gonna be a ridiculous mirror match. Well, so I wanna find Unyielding Spirit. Unyielding Spirit's probably the best thing to, to find. <clears throat> so they could have take heart This is pretty silly. Yeah, like how does this game end? Exactly, like how is this game ever gonna end? Iceville Archer. Okay, well it's not a true mirror. It gave us some other little crappy things to kill, so that's good. Um, so I can play Take Heart. I think I just want to repost. To start with.
So seven mana. Yeah, I mean, they're probably. It looks like they're probably just gonna kill me through damage because they'll just be able to keep. Uh, you yeah, like, I need to draw. I need to draw removal, right? I need to draw like single combat and stuff like that. But they'll just keep challenging. And just hit me with these things. So I need to draw like a, a judgment, or a single combat, or a concerted strike, or anything like that. Uh, they have the unyielding spirit. Okay. It's not bad. Okay, well now we're dead. Yeah, now we can't win. Well, I did say at the very beginning that Unyielding Spirit is probably the most important card. And having two of them and two different things. <laughs> I mean, that's still, I mean, that's still a game. Yeah, you could play Detain in the deck. I would rather have, I'd rather have Concerted Strike though, because you want, you want ways to kill things with Fiora and win with Fiora. All right, I'm just gonna mulligan these spells. They weren't like, they weren't necessarily bad, but, um, you know, they're just kind of average. Quite annoying. A symbol worth fighting for. Yeah, what a what a hand. See how this is gonna work out too well for me. I long for a worthy opponent. I have no time for fools. Uh, 
That repost was a killer. Kill that thing. Ugh. One banner, one destiny. <sighs> Just need a little bit bigger Fiora. I had like one more, if I had one more mana and I could go Judgment plus Frostbite. If I had one more mana and I could go Judgment plus Frostbite, we would win. Or if like, if, yeah, if we had one more mana. So I can make basically I can make this three. I long for a worthy opponent. Sharp blade, sharp mind. If for some reason it strikes right to left instead of left to right, I guess we could win. If it strikes right to left, I I would assume it strikes left to right. Yeah, it does left to right. <laughs> Two down. If it did right to left, then you know we would kill that, kill that, and then we'd start doing four damage to stuff. So soon. But yeah, if I just had, if I had like a two mana protection, you know, if I could just protect my Fiora a little bit. Yeah, if they would have attacked the other way, we would have won. If I just had one more mana, and I could frostbite or anything, like we, we're honestly really close to winning that with that judgment. You know, if it, they didn't give barrier to that thing, it was so close. Um, if my concerted strike was purify, we would have won right there. I took out a purify for a concerted strike. If that, if I didn't do that, if that concerted strike was purify. Um, you know, with that two mana, we could have made it so my judgment would have killed three things. Yeah, or, yep. The burst speed. Give plus one, plus one to everything. That would have been helpful. Bunch of ways we could have had that. Save your worlds. We speak with blades. Be nothing left when I'm done.
that top's gonna be pretty good. Cool. So they didn't challenge. <clears throat> so we'll be able to Unyielding Spirit. We're able to save the mana. <clears throat> and in case we do draw Take Heart, the Fiora is damaged right now, so like Take Heart is turned on, so that's good. They have three of my cards, so there's one of them. Nothing to hold me back. So they have two of my cards still. <clears throat> so we know they have two of my cards and a random sea monster from Jaw Hunters. What are they doing? What's the what's the point of even casting that? Just showing that they have that, I guess. <laughs> two down. Want to show they have that? All right, pick up a win. GG's. We had two single combats. Finish out the other two. And there we go. All right, so our Fiora deck worked out that time much better no because yeah so the swain does not get the non-combat damage if it hits unyielding because unyielding says that that unit cannot take damage so no damage is done so if you have something with life steal that's supposed to do damage it doesn't you don't gain life because damage can't be done um and yeah you don't get it with swain either um so yeah because zero Zero damage is dealt. Callista Darius. So probably a little... Probably an aggro deck. Judgment could be really important, but we gotta find... I gotta mulligan it, because, you know, we have to find Fiora. I can't just keep Judgment, and then we don't draw Fiora. Not Fury. Fiora. Come on, deck. This one right here. Give me this one right here. Fiora. Nope. Let me show you what I can do. Is this gonna be this looks like this well this could be the first game I've ever played this with this deck where I don't have turn three Fiora. Come on, Fiora. Boom. Still got it. Still got it. That would have been my first game ever with this deck of not having turn three Fiora. There we go. All right, so I could see them having... I could just pass back to them. I guess that's safer, just to pass. I could see them going Transfusion, which I wouldn't mind. I would do that, they, they go Transfusion, then I Brittle Steal. Like, that would work. That's why I wouldn't want to challenge the other thing. All right, so just in case they pass back, in case they don't attack, just going to get that out of my hand and use a mana. Now. 
I don't know. I don't know what the, the probability of not having Fiora would be. Uh, maybe I want to do Fury. Let's see. If I go Fury and they go Transfusion... Yeah, I mean, they can't really kill. I mean, because we have Toph, they can't really kill my Fiora no matter what if I go Fury. I they can't really kill it no matter what anyway. Just this uses my mana better. I mean, basically, uh, Noxion Fervor and Transfusion. I don't have to be worried about either of those killing my Fiora. They can go Noxion Fervor and kill their Callista. And then I don't have single combat to respond, but... Oh well. Gonna keep them from drawing those two cards. Oh, I can't wait. For the Empire. Ouch. I'd like to draw judgment. Judgment, please. No, chain vest is the worst possible card. It does nothing. If they don't break, Come on. Concerted strike. Strike this. <laughs> Jane Vest is the, the worst possible card to draw. Alright, so that's big. So we're still at 9. Um, we can keep these two power things in check. So we're looking good. Okay, we need one more. One more kill for Fiora. It's not bad. And that's not bad either. Surrender. See, a bunch of these, like, small unit decks. You know, people are playing a bunch of small units. And... We're getting there. Okay, so Valerian Blade says it's a 12.4% chance to not have it. I think your I think your math's a little off there though, Valerian Blade, because because you did like um, because like the first four it's yes it's you know six out of or you know thirty four out of forty is a miss thirty three out of thirty nine and so on for the first four but then whenever you mulligan then it resets so then it's the the forty out of thirty nine again because you know like you you get a, a fresh four.
if that makes sense. Um. <laughs> you literally just played Fiora and Unyielding and your opponent surrendered. Yeah, that'll happen. They have a few answers to Unyielding Spirit in their deck. Uh, Devour the Depths is the most common one. But then also, um, if they get a Nautilus in play, then a second Nautilus is the Riptide. So this isn't a, a matchup we love to face. And plus, a lot of their stuff's hard to kill with Fiora. This isn't my favorite matchup. They would fall by my blade. But... They have Hapless Aristocrat. I do like seeing Hapless Aristocrat. I never hold back. Try to... Yeah, maybe I should have just kept on Yielding Spirit. Because even though they have a few answers to it, it's... Um, you know, some those same answers just get rid of Fiora anyway. Hate that. Last time we played against this matchup, this was the matchup that we lost the last time we played this deck, and they kind of just kept doing that, foul feasting their own things. Um, and glimpse beyond and atrocity, and just kept killing their own things. Again, in case in case they just pass, I want to use mana. All right, first kill. Be a good time for a judgment. I mean, the last time that we played, whenever we played this deck, I did unyielding my Fiora, and it didn't save, didn't save me. They still got rid of it, and so with it being an eight mana spell, uh, yeah, I just mulligan it because we could draw another one anyway. Uh, yeah. But... Stare back. Will it stare back? Fell into him. Yeah, they have the obliterate stuff and Riptide. Riptide was the thing that got me, you know, like Nautilus and Riptide. But then, yeah, they have the they have the devourers with the obliterate. Decisive. It's possible they're really worried about judgment. Yeah, not. I mean, Nautilus is Riptide, right? So you play a Nautilus, and then their second Nautilus is Riptide. It's the champion spell.
I want to make it more difficult for them to... More difficult for them, it's like they don't get to just, uh, you know, vile feast their own thing. Use some mana and use one of those. So we're at three out of four. We're gonna draw a single combat. No, no removal. Could really use a single combat or a concerted strike to help out. So they've they've obliterated both atrocities. We'll see you face tonight. All right, so now we have eight health. That thing has seven. I'm not using these other Take Heart or uh, Fury of the North because I'm probably going to need all these Frostbite cards to stay alive. A good chance we'll need all those at least. Oh, I should have targeted this thing. Alright. Do this. All right, got that Fiora kill. So there we go, rebound. As I expected. <laughs> yes, but as we determined, it's only like around like a 12, somewhere around a, somewhere around like a 12 and a half percent chance that you don't have Fiora. You know, I don't know, I don't know. I, that's not, that's probably not the exact number, but it's somewhere around there that, um, that you don't have Fiora by turn three. I've now, you know, we played five games last time and five games this time with this deck, and we had Fiora turn three every single game. So, like, it's it's pretty likely that you have Fiora turn three because you have six Fioras. You have Fiora and Entreat, so you do have six Fioras in the deck. Um, so, yeah, like, you know, you have, you have like, that... You have a percentage chance of, of just losing outright... So that, that last game, you kind of see why I wanted Concerted Strike, because sometimes you just want that extra, you know, you just want that extra removal spell with Fiora. But um, game, you know, our second game that we lost, the first game we lost was like a mirror match um, where they they had double Unyielding Spirit. <laughs> that was kind of rough. Um, but the second game, if Concerted Strike was Purify, I would have won. Um, but it wasn't. But yeah, so like that, that could have been a win if we would have had Purify instead of concerted strike or if we had one more mana a lot a lot of things uh kind of went wrong for us to lose that second game this deck i think this deck's just good you know like we went three two this time four one the, the previous time and uh yeah i think this deck's just pretty good i wouldn't i would not mind getting a second purify in here but i don't know what to take out i wonder if like maybe take Maybe you only want like two take hearts, maybe? Maybe two take hearts to purify. Um, that's probably the worst card in the deck is the take heart. Because you don't always get to you don't always get to cast this thing. I like chain vest though. Chain vest is really nice, but yeah, you don't you don't ever need a second chain vest. But the first chain vest is really nice, and I, I do like it a lot. So I don't know if I would want to take out a chain vest. Just because it is a really good card. But yeah, I, I do understand that you don't need a second one.
But with all the small small uh, units around, all the small amounts of damage, like Bilgewater's doing, having a chain vest is really important. So you don't have to use, you know, every time you're killing one ones and two ones and stuff like that, you don't have to keep using so many tricks. So I I don't think you take out a chain vest. You can maybe take heart. We don't all like it's it's not super easy to have a damaged ally. It happens some you know, it happens a good amount of games, but there's also other games, you know, like where you unyielding spirit and stuff like that, and you don't actually have a damaged ally. But maybe not. Maybe you just only play one. Again, maybe you just take the concerted strike back out, play a second. I don't know. I want one concerted strike and I want two purify, and I don't know how to play both of those. <laughs> basically. Um, uh, yeah. Maybe it's one of these four mana cards, a Fury or a Repost. Maybe it's, maybe it's a Repost. Yeah, it could maybe a Repost. I don't know. Anyway, uh, those of y'all watching on YouTube, uh, if you, you know, if there's a card, if you've been playing the deck, there's you know, one of these cards you think you can cut for a second purify, let me know. Or maybe you just don't even need a second purify. Maybe you just don't even need it. All right, but anyway, that's it here for Fiora alone. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.